Alright, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use a C++ library called Port Audio uh, using Xcode. Okay, I um, haven't really seen too many videos on how to do this. I haven't, actually haven't seen any videos on how to do this, so I thought it might be extremely helpful if I made one. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to download the file that you need from the Port Audio website. Okay, that's going to be portaudio.com. Okay, and as you can see here, Port Audio is a free cross-platform open source audio input output library. Okay, here on the, the left-hand side, download. <coughs> go and use the file from January 30th, 2014 here. I'm just going to click on the link. It'll automatically put that into your downloads folder here. All right, go ahead and close your browser. All right, so gonna, the next thing you need, you're going to need your Xcode. All right, and also your terminal where we will be doing all of our work from initially. All right, so first thing, go ahead and CD into your downloads folder. All right, I'm going to use the list command to see what we have in there. All right, so the only thing we have in there is the tar file. And this is the, is, this is the name that we're going to type in using this command, the tar command here, tar-xvf pa stable v19 2014 0130.tar. All right, and that's going to un unpack all the files and um, header files that we need. Okay, next thing, let's go ahead and clear. Let's go ahead and use the list command again. And as you can see, doing that created a directory, directory called port audio, and that ha that's containing all of our files. All right, so let's go ahead and cd into port audio. All right, next thing, you're going to use period for slash configure and make. Alright, once you do that, let's give it a few seconds to let it let it do its thing and um, we'll be good to go. Alright. Alright, next thing um, Go ahead and install, so we use the command make install. Um, you're, you're more than likely not going to have permission to do this, but just to show you what I'm talking about, go ahead and type make install. Okay, it's going to say uh, permission denied, so go ahead and type sudo make install. And going to have to type your password. All right, then you're good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create a new Xcode project. I'm just going to use a command line tool application and I'm going to use the language C. Okay, I'm going to call this PA for port audio. Alright, so let me go ahead and clear some of this out real quick. Okay, so go ahead and select your project. Here you're going to have uh, two options basic and all. Make sure that all is, uh, is um, highlighted that way you have. You can see all the properties, and this is going to be in the build settings category. <clears throat> go and sc scroll down to your search paths. Okay, right here. Okay, you're going to have two. You're going to have header search paths, the library search paths. Okay, so basically, we need to link um, those files and libraries that we just um, compiled with the port, the port audio. Um, basically, all those commands that we did. If you go up here to your finder, go to go, go to go to folder forward slash user usr okay as you can see this directory right here local has been created and inside two more directories have been created include and lib okay in the include directory we directory we have port audio the header file and then in the library directory we have um, the port audio libraries okay all right so basically we need to link those so here in your header search pass it might already be pre-populated that's okay just go ahead and double click it the bottom left hand side is going to be a little plus sign. Go ahead and click that. You're going to type forward slash USR local um, include. Go ahead and press enter. Next thing we need to link our library. All right, so remember to double click. All right, bottom left forward slash use USR local and then we're going to type lib. All right, so now that you have those two, you have the include and you have the lib. All right. So come back up here. Let's go go ahead and go to build phases. 
All right, link binary with libraries is your next step. All right, well, go ahead and move this to the side. Bring back up your terminal. All right, go ahead and type in CD. All right, that way we can get back to the main directory. All right, go ahead and type in CD slash USR slash local. Okay, go ahead and list out the, the directories or files inside. And the only thing that we have is the two directory, directories, which is include and lib. <coughs> go ahead and type in open lib. All right, so right here, we're going to use the lib port audio dot a. Basically, you're just going to click and drag this over to your add frameworks and lib libraries here area. All right. All right, so once you have that in, you've linked your folder, your header file pass, and you linked your library pass, and then also uh, you added this file here. So go ahead and go back to your C++ file. <clears throat> Remember, we're referencing an external um, header file, so we'll have to use the syntax like this. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and just give it a little run. Build succeeded. Looks like everything works well, but the real way, main way to test it is to kind of use some of this. So let's go and type PA error equals PA initialize. All right, go ahead and run it. Boom, build succeeded. The only warning we got is that we're not using this, this variable that we declared, which is okay. But everything worked perfectly, and that is how you um, start off with using uh, the C++ library port audio with Xcode, and that's how you link everything that you're going to need to. Thank you for watching. Please like my video. Have a good day.